when I posted my last video, a lot of people asked me how I'm taking my short out of my sheath and then putting it back in. And what this is called is noto. So I'm going to teach you how I've been doing it and how you should be doing it. So first off, you want to practice with your sword actually in a belt. A lot of people don't, they just have their sword like this. What's inaccurate about this is their arms come out here and stuff like that. But no, your sword, if it's under a belt, it's always going to stay here. Right? This is your sagyo cord. This would go around your saya, which is what your scabbard is called. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to place your hand like this. Or like this, depending on how you want to draw your sword. Reverse grip or traditional grip, grip both is fine. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to push this part with your thumb out. And this is going to come, your saya and your sword is going to come out at the same time. This motion here is going to unlock your sword. Right? And then this motion, it's really hard because look, that's all the way out. And look, my sword isn't out yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this out so we can actually, with this part, hit our opponent like that. And then it's going to allow us to bring the saya back. So this motion and turn your hips. See, look, now my sword is out. Oh. Okay, so again, you're going, can comes here. Now, boom. And my sword is drawn. Come here, come here. Do something fancy. Okay, so the reason why we don't want to just do this, pull out like this, because you certainly can. You're just going to have to kind of turn your chest a little bit. The reason we don't want to do that is because when I'm doing this, I'm actually, the top of my sword, the blade, is scraping against the top of my saya. And it's going to dull the blade every time. So that's why I'm going to tell you that when you do this, you're taking the saya off the sword. Don't take the saya, don't take the sword out of the saya. Take the saya off the sword. Oh. All right, okay, so now, boom, sword is out. So now, we're going to practice taking the sword, putting the sword back in. This is the final step of no to. So how this starts is this part right here. You see this opening? This is called the koiguchi or carp's mouth. Now what you're gonna do is because it's so hard to just kind of shuffle it in there. I mean, you certainly can, but you're gonna have to look at it. So you're gonna form a new koiguchi with your mouth, with your, with your mouth, with your hand by pinching these two together. Now. Now you're going to slide the sword. Slide the sword in between this part right here. Now make sure your skin isn't like resting like that, or else you're gonna pinch and this part is gonna get bruised all the time. Have like that. See, and then you're gonna slide this. You're gonna feel the sword. Kind of like playing violin, you're gonna feel the bow. Without that, it's very hard to get your sword back in. Okay, and again, also, you're putting the saya on the sword. You're not putting the sword in the saya because you, people tend to pull up when they pull, put it back in. You're going to put the saya on the sword. Saya on the sword and slowly come back. Now, also, try not, to, try not to make clanking sounds and stuff like that. And like that. Hear that? That's ugly. Respect your sword. The weapon of the samurai. Respect your weapon. Make it as quiet and elegant as possible. Right? Awesome. So now, when you're putting your sword in, whoops, your sword is gonna fall onto your index like that. See? Now I know that my sword is ready to go in. And there are many ways to do this also. 
Boom, you tr reverse grip. Traditional grip. You can do something. Boom, blood removal. Many ways to come to put your sword back in. Many ways to do noto. Boom, hit my opponent. Boom, my sword is drawn. Now, it doesn't really matter how this comes back. There's no witness there. Your opponent is dead. But if you want to, keep it as elegant as possible. Remember? So, this is gonna, this is gonna be noto at full speed. Boom, sword is drawn. Boom, blood removal. Sword comes back. Put the sigh on the sword. Click my sword back in place. And slowly stand my sword is back. That is your lesson on Noto. Also, some reminders. There's going to be times, there's going, always going to be that one moment where you just flip your sword around and your blade is facing your hand. Now, I haven't done this yet and I also don't have a real sword. That's going to slice your hand open. It's not going to cut your thumb off. It's going to hurt real bad and you're going to be out of commission for a while. I know a couple of people that did it. So, that's why I always um, tell people don't practice with a live blade. Practice with a practice blade. Also, I don't think I said this yet, but why we don't do this is because your blade scrapes against the top of the saya and that's gonna dull it every time you pull it in and pull it put it back in pull it out pull it back in if you keep doing this if you do that or that you're gonna scrape your sword and dull your sword every time that's why I'm saying take the saya off the sword same with this Put the saya on the sword and slowly come back. Awesome. Have fun.